Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm KPG and welcome back to uh, Paper Mario the Origami King. Today we are going to uh, finish making our way through Big Show Theater. We are in the middle of a show that's being put on. Uh, however, all of the toads are being held captive. Um, and it seems like we are participating in this play. In just the last episode, we were uh, part of a scene where we were doing uh, some quick draw uh, duels basically with some uh, Paper Macho guys. However, uh, what it's what it reveals is that the uh, the real plan of the uh, playmaster, whoever is directing the show, was for Mario to be shot. <laughs> Mario was supposed to be the one shot during those scenes, so it appears like this is a setup. But now, uh, what's going on is it seems like there are these two uh, rival Koopas showing up with their homies, trying to um, win over the affection of Birdo. Uh, however, it seems like we got to uh, put a stop to this. Hey there, overalls. Glad you could join us. You're the greaser this bird is a guy guy for? What a load of baloney. Heh, <laughs> we'll see how tough he is. Let's dance. What a treat. It's not even my birthday. I want to see a good, clean fight. Try not to bruise each other too badly, okay? Alright. This is a, it's a dance fight. Oh. We gotta actually fight them, I see. Alright. How are we going to do this? Oh, we got to stomp on them and then smack them. I see. I see. Eh, yeah, well. It's a bad day for you to tangle with uh, good old Jumpman here. We are not going to be defeated that easily. Point. Is this a hole we can fill in? Or no? Nope. <laughs> All right. Come at me, bros. Come on. I wonder if we can jump on them again and just kick them out of the way or if we have to smack them. Because uh, it seems like there are a lot more of them showing up than I thought. I uh, know we have to smack them. Okay. Alright. How do you guys like that? How do you like that beatdown? You're pretty tough after all, but playtime's over. Yeah, it's time to bust out the advanced choreography. Ouch! Hey, I wasn't expecting that it that fast. Uh, oh, do we have to step on them multiple times? Uh, all at once, maybe? Come at me, bros. Come on. Come on. Out. Okay, maybe maybe don't come at me. Oh, hey, thanks for the heart, Birdo. I appreci appreciate that. Come here. Come on. Boink. And die. Oh, so we have to wait for them to chill out. Okay. They run out of steam, and boink, and that is that. We took down the squad leaders. Yes! Ow! <laughs> okay, she's the true final boss. Whoa! <laughs> I knew you'd mop the floor at those delinquents, delinquents, but my gosh! Now I've got Mario Madness, and you've got the only cure. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Mario looks looks like he just uh, fainted there, or something. Uh, come on, Mario, get it together. It's just a stage kiss. Oh, I get it. You're pretending to be overwhelmed by your emotions. I love improv. Um, <laughs> yeah, that he's pretending, of course. Tough luck, overalls. Despite my prior warnings, here you are with egg on your face. And that's my cue to exit. Ciao, Mario. I'll be dreaming of our next performance. Wow, she only had two lines in the rehearsal. <laughs> wow, she just made sure that she had a bunch more. <laughs> she just added a bunch in for herself. I could totally see that. That's fair. You okay, Mario? Yeah, she's the true final boss. Those uh, Koopas were nothing but Birdo, man. Uh, Birdo was crazy. Sorry, Mario, we're not done yet. You'd better get back to your seat. All right, are we going to stage three now? I'm down. Mario, please return to your seat before it gets mad. I'm trying. Mario, that play was so, so racy. All that romance, it was too much. Aw, oh, fooey, forget the romance. That fight scene was intense. Makes me wish I had Vista Clinch. It wasn't really intense. We kind of demolished them. Ugh, that's not how the act was supposed to end. I mean, really, there's no way Mario's actually that strong. Talk about a stretch. You paper macho goons had better band together in the next act, or I may snap. Well, it seems like the uh, showmaster or whatever, the guy that's running this show, is not too pleased that Mario has been able to defeat all of the paper macho guys thus far. So it seems like they are going to have an even bigger challenge for us this time. Let's see what it is. 
Next, a spectacle by the Royal Shoei Guy. Uh, pardon me, Shy Guy Ballet Co. Shoei Guy. <laughs> Alright, Shy Guy Ballet. I did not know Shy Guys were into ballet. Alright. I guess you learn something new every day. So, how are they going to try to murder us this time? Are they going to have us up there and then try to dance all over us? <laughs> Smack us with our feet while they spin around? I don't know, but it seems they are uh, having us go now. Are we dancing with that one shy guy? All right, I know the drill by now. Get up on the stage and do something that results in the death of all the paper macho guys. Oh, yeah, he's uh, we're uh, we're dancing with this dude. Yeah, Mario's doing a whole lot of stuff without actually <laughs> doing that much. They're not even touching each other, but they're still doing work. Oh, well, I guess. Whoa! Mario! <laughs> Mario! Oh! Oh, uh, that's not how that was supposed to go. <laughs> Whoops! Huh. You know, I don't think Mario could have been expected to hold all that weight. Ow! Especially considering the fact that he's paper and they are origami. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's a clear weight difference. Ah, well. Time to smack all these guys. Alright. Fun's over. Look, I'm sorry I killed your buddy, but it doesn't mean I have to kill all of you. Also, how fragile are they to actually just explode from being dropped on the floor from a height of, like, what? Like, like five feet? Mario's not exactly tall. It's probably more like four feet. <laughs> four and a half feet? I don't know. I know Mario's really short, I think. Either that or the people in Odyssey are just extremely tall. There's that possibility as well. Anyways, come on, give me a challenge. You're just running straight into me. I mean, hey, I'll take all this confetti, though. Oh. You guys want to try me on for size? Ow. I just could I could take these hits all day, you know. Fine by me. You do eight damage to me, I kill three of your friends. <laughs> I think I think there's a clear difference here. All right, now they're trying to be more tricky about this. All right. Fine, I'll just lie and wait. Ow. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, they're actually ramping up the intensity. Okay. Hey, heart, thanks. Okay. Was that all of it? Hey, we are victorious! We have murdered a bunch of people doing ballet. We are so honorable. Sorry, Mario, we're not done yet. You'd better get back in your seat. I believe the next stage is the final one, though. Sack this over, Mario. You'd better return to your seat. I think stage four is the last stage, so we should be getting pretty close to uh, being able to get to that blue streamer. Mario, you can fight, act, and dance? Is there anything you can't do? Uh, no, not at all. The first half was boring, but the second half was awesome. Ballet is way better with hammers. Oh, I've had it with your show stealing and grandstanding. You wish to be the star? Fine. Come on up and face the music. Alright. Sounds like it's uh, time for an epic showdown of, uh, of the century. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, folks, we've reached the final act of today's very special show. The blue streamer. There it is. Ah, look! The spool for the blue streamer. This is it. We're finally here. I gotta take that thing down. Let's take a moment to applaud our performers. Give them a hand. Hey, it's the... Hey, I, didn't you guys get turned into confetti that I subsequently grabbed and put in my pouch? Because if that's the case, how are you still in existence? Well, there's Birdo, the only piece of paper other than Mario that was acting. <laughs> the only piece of paper... Well, non-folded paper, anyway. The non, the only non-origami actor other than Mario. <laughs> hey, great job, guys. Hey, I'm glad you were able to patch up those wounds. Hey, how come you didn't explode from that fall? <laughs> Whatever. And now, the hero of our show. Come and take a bow, Mario. Okay, sure, this is definitely not a trap or anything. This may be your chance to get close to that spool, Mario. Yeah, yeah, let's do this thing. Let's hit the save thing first, though. There's another one of you down here? Shh, play cool, Mario. I've got mushrooms to help you out. Outside concessions are banned, so try not to get us caught. So need any mushrooms? Sure, dude. You know what? I won't tell anybody if you don't. Thanks. Speaking of which, you know what? Let's actually use a mushroom, because I have a feeling 
Got some final, uh, or not final, but a boss fight is coming up. Uh, just from what we have seen with the last streamer and the fact that we've been fighting out, uh, that we've been fighting through this whole show. No, no, no! The star of the show isn't Mario, you uncultured hacks! The real superstar is me! Oh, who is it? What are we gonna fight this time? Oh my gosh. Uh, the elastic entertainer, Rubber Band! So we're just fighting, what, like office equipment now? Okay, this rubber band can sing though, somehow. Is it just like reverberating all of its rubber bands and creating music by like rubbing them against each other or something? Alright. Alright, rubber band. It's time for you to face the music of my hammer. Hang on! You, so you, ha! Huh, you think you're the star? I'll admit, you definitely know how to make an entrance. But there's no denying that my buddy Mario is the best part of your whole production. Gosh. Hang on. You directed this show. Why did you make it so dangerous? Mario could have gotten hurt somehow. Gosh. <laughs> Wait a sec. You're covered in rubber bands. Does that mean you're also the one who trapped all these toads? Ah, such a long monologue, yet you didn't flub a single line. Have you ever considered a career in acting? Oh, never mind. Your skill at the performing arts shan't trip me up. Get ready, this shall be your final performance. Yeah, I knew it. Boss fight. Yeah, we're just fighting, like, what, office type supplies? <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. We're just finding weird household, fighting weird household things. Hold the power of my rubber bands. Let's see how well you take stage direction. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it seems like we're just fighting weird stuff you'd find around the house. <laughs> For. Uh, to take down these streamers. We fought colored pencils last time, now we're fighting rubber band. What is actually next? Stapler? <laughs> uh, uh, tape roll? Glue stick? I don't know. Bumper bands? Oh, hey! No! Wait! Please, stop! Consider, consider doing something else! Okay. Hey, you can't just flip the panels away, we need those! What the? Now there are rubber bands all over the arena, so I'm mean, gonna guess we can't walk into those, otherwise we get bounced around or something. Use the arrows! Like I'm going to do anything else! Alright, so if we were to go this way, we'd walk straight into a rubber band. So what if we do this instead? And then slide this up this way. And then we can get this uh, fist on over here and attack the rubber band. All right, do we want to jump? Wait, why does it look like its HP is already missing a little bit? You see that on the boss HP uh, gauge or whatever? It looks like it's missing a little sliver. Is that supposed to be normal? Is that supposed to be like that? Um, so we can either hammer or we can jump. I feel like hammer is always the better option. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like hammer is the better option. Let's start with that. If it doesn't work out, we can try jump next time. All right, and oh, a bang. Yep. Oh, that. Made it lose a lot of rubber bands. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does it lose HP when it flicks out those rubber bands onto the stage? So, like, it loses HP when it loses its rubber bands? Because if so, that seems kind of like... It's like Sonic with his rings, you know? Like, when he gets hit, he loses his rings, like... And that's his health, basically. So, I think that's, that's kind of like what we're doing here. We're trying to make it lose all of its rubber bands or something. Ooh, your pitiful attacks have no effect on my bouncy body. Pull back. Oh. Yep, it's calling the rubber bands back, and now it's at full HP. Okay, I have a feeling we're going to have to use some sort of special attacks. Oh no, it's some of those loose rubber bands back to its weird wobbly body. What do we do now? I'm going to guess we're going to have to look at those notes that give us hints. Prepare yourselves, here comes my rubber bind attack. Rubber bind? Oh, now. Oh! Oh yeah, we're... We're bound, all right. Uh, that can't be good. Tied up, can't move. Oh, yeah, this is not good. Trap snap back. Oh, ow. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Ah, those rubber bands had you all tied up. Is it possible to guard against them? Probably, I just probably had terrible timing. Bumper bands, oh, stop. <laughs> all right, we definitely need one of those notes. 
We definitely need one of those notes. I feel like we're not going to do very well unless we get one of them in the way. Um, wait, hold on. So what if we did, like, walk this way... Is there no up arrow on this map? Or on this thing? I don't see an up arrow. That's not normal. <laughs> like, at all. Uh, well, let's at least get this note, if nothing else. Be bold. Try bumping against one of those rubber band panels. Oh, so we want to do this? Oh, they... They, uh... Mmm, they redirect us. Okay, I see, I see. So probably the direction of where they're facing is where it'll send Mario, so they probably work kind of like arrows. Huh. Well, his HP is not back all the way. Um, and, yeah, I, I failed. <laughs> I failed to uh, block. Gosh dang it. Tied up, can't move. And is he going to do the same thing? Yep, trapped snapback. What if we keep jumping? Can we get out of it? Uh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> this isn't looking good. Okay, we definitely need HP. HP it needs to be high priority here. Okay, use the arrows. I got it by now, okay? <laughs> I got it. Um, okay, so we definitely need hearts. We need hearts desperately. Um, desperately. So what if we get this here? So that should move us into where we need to go and give us like the hands okay I think that's good I think this should be good two times attack power on switch oh that didn't do what I wanted it to um yeah, that didn't do what I wanted it to. Okay, I think we're dead. And yeah, I just, I just... I don't understand how... Oh, we, we actually got the block, but we still died. That's... Not good. <laughs> Gosh dang it, I wish we... I wish we had a store or whatever to buy those life shrooms. Or whatever, but we don't. We don't have those. Um... Alright, whatever. Uh, let's skip this. Get back into the thing. Whatever. Okay, so I just think I had a difficulty understanding how those rubber bands work. I think that was my worst um, issue. Because I didn't understand that. This body is so rubbery. Normal attacks are going to cut it here. Right, so I think I actually know what it's talking about right now. I think I actually know. So I think what we want to do is hit these. Uh, and then we tie... Because as I saw it the last time, what I saw the last time is we hit it and it tied it up into a tiny little ball and then I think at that point uh, rubber band or whatever this dude yeah this dude rubber band uh, can't actually pull it back into himself at that point so I think we just want to focus on trying to hit those actually like I think we actually want to hit them I, I feel like that's actually like our goal is to hit them and then we keep walking around through them like we keep walking by them and it doesn't stop us but we don't change direction I thought when we hit it it would like or we changed direction to where it was pointing, like where the like tip of it was pointing, uh, but that's not how it works actually, like at all. So, yeah, I was just essentially confused. So I think if we just leave it like this, I think what we'll do is we'll snap two of these. Uh, what? Okay, that time it didn't do what I thought it would. Okay, I I don't know how these rubber bands work. <laughs> I honestly don't know how these rubber bands work. They don't make sense to me. Uh, here comes my rubber bind attack. Right. I feel like... Okay, so yeah, if we get good timing, we won't actually get bound up. Okay, good to know. <sighs> well then, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck am I trying to do then? Because if I can't... If I can't do what I thought I could do... I don't know how this boss fight works. I, I must be missing something, because I just do not understand... I do not understand how this works at all. Um, 
Not even a little bit. I, 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 yeah, I, I messed up. Okay, I feel, I'm feeling really dumb here, but I just don't exactly know what I'm doing. Well, it looks like even after he re recalled all of them, he's still not at full, so... Oh, okay. Um, cause yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Like, what the heck? Like, in that last map or attempt, in our first attempt, what it did was when we landed on him, we kept walking, right? But then this last time I tried it, we got caught up and it stopped doing anything that we needed. So I don't get it. I, I really do not get it. I don't understand. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It really does not make sense to me. Uh, like what the heck? Okay, so we have to go to the left no matter what. We would hit an on switch and then thousand fold arms, but I don't know if we could actually do anything from that far away. We can try though. Try to see if we can reach him with our thousand fold arms from this far away. I don't think so, but we can try. We'll see if we can do anything with this. Uh, we can grab the rubber band. Oh! We pull the thing back and smack him with it. Ow! Hey, don't yank on my bands like that. That's no way to treat a star. Gosh. <laughs> okay, well. There is that, I guess. We can do that that move, uh, the snap back on him with our thousandfold arms, some of its bands are missing. It couldn't summon all of them back. Good. Ow. Alright, health has to be a priority in this battle. That's what I've learned. Health has to be an absolute priority. Also, I would love to understand the mechanics, but that first note didn't really clarify anything at all. At all. <laughs> Like, nothing I wanted to learn was clarified in that. So let's get another note, I guess, and then a heart, and we'll just call this good. <laughs> well, okay, what, what does it mean? Okay, get close to the enemy before using the thousand-fold arms. The closer you are, the more bands you'll grab. Oh, I see, because when we were far away, we only grabbed one. But if we get close with the 1,000-fold arms, we can grab onto more. Okay, yank those rubber bands back as far as you can, then let them fly. Okay. All right, that's at least some information about what to do. Uh, let's see if we can jump on. See if we can jump on him from here. Uh, yeah, we can. I don't really know how helpful this is. I feel like what we want to do is just get his HP really low, and then we'll be able to kill him off with like a jump attack or something. Oh, your pitiful attacks have no effect on my bouncy body. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Still not at full health, so don't get too cocky out now. Some of those loose rubber back bands back to its weird wobbly body. What do we do now? Uh, do something else, I guess. Boink and boink and block. All right, now that I know the timing for that, that's not too big of a deal to mess or to. Uh, it's not too big of a deal to face. I still wish I knew how these rubber bands worked. I. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I really do. I really wish I knew how they worked. Um, right, so. Um, what if we. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we'll call that good enough. Uh, we're just going to be mainly uh, turning on these thousand-fold arms for later. Uh, but we can get an attack in now. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll be able to weaken it a little bit to the point where maybe it can't recall all of its rubber bands. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep jumping on him and then see how this works. Because we get another uh, action in here now. We get to get rid of some more rubber bands. I don't know how good that is for us, or if he'll just recover all of them. Quick pullback. That should be his only action if he does that on the turn. Okay, yeah, it gets him back to about where he was. 
So we really do have to use like our 1,000 fold arms. Normal attacks aren't working. There must be a better way to handle this battle, right? Some way to arm ourselves. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Snap back. Ow! Gosh, that always takes longer than I think. All right. But now that we have activated our 1,000 fold arms, we just have to get in really close. So yeah, I thought that when we landed on those rubber bands, it made it so that he couldn't pull them back. But that does not seem to be the case. Uh, not exactly, anyway. Uh, why are none? Of, why do we have none that <laughs> angle us upward? Oh, is that what these do? Maybe they, they send us uh, up. I don't know. If so, we can try. <laughs> we can try see if they'll send us upward. Go up, you fool! <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, because I have no idea. Because it said use them to our advantage or whatever, but every time I've tried, it doesn't do what I think it's going to do. This boss fight is just really weird. Okay, you can try to bind me all you want, but I've got the timing down now. Although, one of those was a little bit faster, and I did almost get hit by it. Which would have sucked. Uh, if we can, we should try to get some HP, as well as get up close to him with a 1,000-fold arms. Do we really have nothing that sends this upward? Uh, maybe since this one is pointing towards him, it'll work? I have no clue. I don't understand how this... I don't understand how this boss fight works. I really don't. <laughs> I really do not have any kind of clue about how it works. Um... Because, like, to me, this looks like you know, we start on this arrow, then we go around, grab that note, go over here, the rubber band sends us this direction. But I'm not sure. Oh well. I guess let's see, because it's pointed in a different direction now. Maybe because if you're close to the enemy before using the 1,000 fold arms, the closer you are, the more you'll, or the more bands you'll grab. Yeah, maybe I was just confused because maybe it was pointing the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, we already know, we already know. It was just pointed the wrong direction. Okay, it moved us up, but then it moved us back? It moved us up, but then we started moving to the left? Like, what? Do they just... I don't know. I, I do not know. I, I genuinely do not understand this boss fight. <laughs> I genuinely do not understand how this boss fight is supposed to work. Maybe I'm dumb. That's certainly a possibility, but I just... I really, like... The only thing about this boss fight that makes sense is just get close and use the 1,000 fold arms. That's like the only... Yes, I know! <laughs> it's like the only thing that makes sense to me at this point. It's, it's like actually the only thing that I can think of at this point. is just... Get up close and use 1,000 fold arms. But there's like never any opportunity to actually get turned around. Uh, except for now, we actually do have the ability. Um... Yes, yeah, so if we move that there, then we move that down. Okay. Ugh. No. 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 Maybe? Maybe if we do like this? I don't know. I don't know how this works exactly, but this might work, depending on how this goes. Yes! Okay! It worked how I thought it worked that time. I actually understand. Alright. Time for you to feel the pain that you have caused to me. It is your turn, buddy. Come here. And... Boom! Take that, jerk. How do you like losing all those bands? Yeah, pull them back. Pull those ones back. I don't even care. You're at less than half health now. <laughs> Gosh. This guy is annoying. Bind me? You're gonna try to bind? You're gonna try to bind me? Oh. Well, too bad I got to see that one going up. Too bad I had plenty of time to react to that fool. Too much time to react to that. I feel like even if we had, like, if we got to do two attacks on him and just use our, used our jumps, we'd actually maybe be able to just finish him off now. But no, I, I know what I need to do. Thousandfold arms all the way, baby. Oh, well, we gotta try to get some health now. Uh, so I think I actually finally understand at least a little bit how these rubber bands work. So if we do this, that should 
snap us there. Um, okay, so we have a he heart on this path, so I'm fine there. That moves us up. And so if we put this, this here, and then that there, and then like, uh, yeah, we'll call that good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not entirely confident about that, but I think we're pretty decent. We got 50 HP there, which is really what I wanted the most. Be close before using the thousandfold arms. Yes, I know. I know, we just did it last time. All right, so I think, yes, we can turn that on now. We get the extra thing, although it doesn't matter. We get snapped up a bunch. Yeah, but I think, I think that makes it so he lost some of his rubber bands too. So I think if we actually use those panels to propel ourselves forward, it actually helps us out in the long run. But he's gonna snap us back. And block. Okay. Uh, so I guess maybe the closer we are to him, the more damage he does with that too. So kind of like how we want to get close to him, he wants us uh, to be close when he's attacking us too. All right, so now that I actually think I understand how this works, this might be a bit better. Uh, this might be a bit, be a bit better. I'm not entirely sure though. So this would send us to the left, and then we want to... We want to go up if we can, but I don't see how we do that. Hmm, I don't. This would send us up here. We could move ourselves to the left, go up there. No, we don't want that. Um, this could work, maybe. This will give us an extra move. Yeah, maybe with the extra move we could kill him with two jumps. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but maybe? I don't think so, but it's possible. Alright, so I think, yeah, that shoots us up. This will shoot us up here. Uh, okay, that's not what I thought we were doing, but I'll take it. <laughs> I, I got the thing wrong. I got the way we moved entirely wrong, but uh, this works for me. <laughs> All right, we're decently close. All right, and snap! Okay, yeah, now we'll, now we just need to jump. We could probably kill him with a jump now or a hammer or something. You can only draw two back. All right, this boss fight is... Okay, I think when you understand this boss fight, it's not too bad. But at the beginning, it just... It can, uh... It can... It can uh, be a bit hard to understand. Sorry, I was focusing on that. I wasn't about to give up everything just about now. Yeah, he doesn't even have rubber bands to throw out now. He can't even afford to get rid of it. That's both sad and really good for me. Um, yeah, I mean, this might actually just work. This might straight up just get us the win. Uh, because this should send us to an attack point. And we could probably finish him off with a jump or something like that. Alright, rubber band. It's been real, and it has been fun. But I cannot tell you that it has been real fun. Oh, never mind. We got to snap you back. <laughs> never mind. I guess it's been it's been actually it's been amazing. I'm sorry. I I didn't mean to insult you. You pull that one rubber band back. You feel like you're doing something with your life. <laughs> you feel like you're doing something. Normal attacks aren't working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ouch. Ow. Wait. Why does that do more damage when you have less rubber bands on you? That doesn't even make sense. Alright, so we have to use thousand fold arms. We have to. It is our only option. Um, so what if we do this? That should get us over to the on button. And then I don't know what else that would do for us. Well, we could use a 1,000 fold arms. It would just not be as close as we would want. Uh, but it should probably... Oh, never mind. I, I screwed myself. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. He's going to snap us back. Okay, we really need to make sure we get healed. Yeah, so it seems like the closer we are to him, the more damage it does to us. Okay. We need health. Uh, desperately. How's it that I'm doing worse on this now that I... Now that he's actually not throwing out his things? 
Oh, never mind. We can probably get, yeah, we can get a 1,000 fold arms up in there. <laughs> Which is basically game over for him. Uh, is there anywhere else we could, we could put a heart here. And then, yeah, I think that gives us to a 1,000 fold arms right next to him. That will probably be game. That will probably be GG. Yeah, we throw more goodies on. We activate the 1,000 fold arms. Then we get to the 1,000 fold arms. And I think it is time to say sayonara, rubber band. I think it's time to get him on out of here. Grip him. And I think one last snapback is in order. Boom! Yep, that's all she wrote. Now it's just a simple rubber band. Oh no, I guess we we do get to keep fighting. <laughs> all right, it's, we're just fighting a single rubber band now? All right, I can dig it. Ew, it's all wobbly and wriggly. Curtain's been pulled back. I've been exposed. You've reduced my ensemble to a one-man band. Literally. <laughs> You'll pay me. You'll pay for that. Solo snapback. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was actually painful. Do we have to do 1,000 fold arms again? Just like... Boom. <laughs> Flick him on out of here or something? Or can we just kill him with a normal attack? I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's see. There's an on switch here. That would get us to a heart. Oh, uh, we could try this. Yeah, we could... Oh, no, we can't. We can't do that. <laughs> Never mind. What if we did this? That would get us to an on switch. And then a heart. And then 1,000 fold arms. I think that's what we want to do. All right. Turn them on. Get our health back. And 1,000 fold arms. I think we probably get to uh, fling them on out of here now. Probably. <laughs> we'll get them eventually. Okay. Oh my gosh, stop stop dodging. All right, we got you now. And rush time. Boing, boing, boing. How do you like this rubber band? How do you like getting smacked on the ground? And fire away. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Get out of here. Boom. We actually did. Flick them on out of here. Get out of here, you stupid rubber band. Gosh. Never had so much trouble dealing with a rubber band before. And also, how does whacking it on the floor... How does whacking a rubber band on the floor actually hurt it? It's it's made of rubber. <laughs> don't think that's going to help. I don't think that's going to do anything. Oh, it wasn't supposed to end like this, Mario. The agony, the brutality, the sheer injustice of it all. Oh, muses. Oh, bard. Have you truly forsaken me for these flimsy, flat, papery beings? I wanted to make this place grand. Eliminate things dull and bland. Alas, this was my final stand. It's curtains for poor rubber band. <gasps> Whoa! Yo, wait, we made a rubber band explode? How is that even possible? Oh, I guess that gets rid of all the rubber bands. Hey, we did it! No more rubber band for uh, this place. All right, looks like, and looks like we have the ability to rip down this dang uh, streamer now. Mario, you saved the show and me. Yeah, bravo, 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 excellent. Bob, um, you could have helped us out, you know. You really could have. It's the second boss battle you've missed out on, man. Come on, dude. Yeah, we are so great. <laughs> we killed a rubber band. I don't even know how you kill rubber. I mean, maybe if you, like, had a scissors, you could cut up the rubber band. And then it would be essentially useless, but we don't have scissors. Oh, well. You did it, Mario. All that's left is to take that streamer down. I mean, I guess you could also burn it, but we didn't really use our fire flowers. I don't even think you can use... You can't even use items in boss battles, which is kind of weird, but... I don't know. I guess they are their own thing, so it is what it is. All right. Looks like it's finally time to take down this gosh dang blue streamer. And... A boing! 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 And get it out of here. 
You've been up for way too long. We've been in this studio. We've been in these studios for what, like four episodes now? Gosh, dang it! <laughs> Get out of here. No one likes you, Blue Streamer. Gosh, dang, Blue Streamer. <laughs> I think it's been four episodes, um, or at least like three and a half, something like that. All right, finally, we got rid of the Blue Streamer. Congratulations, Blue Streamer cleared. All right, two down, three to go. And it looks like our little confetti pouch is going to increase as well. Max confetti increased. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Now we can fill up even more holes. Yes, take that, Blue Streamer. I think the yellow one's next, right? Okay, Mario, we're going to return to the first floor now. You'd better return to your seat. Trust me. All uh, right, elevator. And the game is saving for us. How generous. Yeah, I think the yellow streamer's next because when we were um, talking to that uh, master oarsman or whatever, he w or we saw that there was a yellow streamer leading out of here. So I believe that's our next, um, our next goal is to take down the yellow streamer. Uh, great job up there. You two were so awesome. I felt kind of bad just watching and I couldn't clap. But I was cheering super loud. Hey, thanks, Bobby. Okay, folks, hang on to something. We're going to bring the house down. Quite literally. <laughs> well, actually, we're going up. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. I forgot directions. There we go. <laughs> and uh, we're plummeting. Hopefully, we don't die. Oh, yeah, that can't have been safe. Maybe, maybe we should have been rubber. Maybe we should have had those rubber bands on us. Might have made that trip a lot easier. <laughs> We took down the blue streamer and saved the toads. That takes care of that. You were great up there, Big M. Let's head back to Shogun Studios. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, it should probably be fairly populated now that everyone is not being held captive inside of the Big Show Theater. All right. Sweet. Hit the save button just because. And I think we'll see what else is going on. Um, see what... Uh, see a little bit more stuff before we end this episode here. Uh, in case there's any more story or something that we want to get uh, done right now. Alright. So the blue streamer is down, so I think we can progress. Um, but now we want to take down the yellow streamer. That is our next task, I believe. Alright, yeah, everyone's here. <laughs> Definitely not an empty wasteland anymore. Hey, is it party time? Hey, they're still throwing that ball. Those uh, dry bones. Cool. There's that chain chomp we helped rescue. Or not real. No, not rescue. <laughs> we helped calm down to, I don't know, to uh, be able to make our way through. What's up, Bobby? What you doing? Memory time? Big M, man. Huh? What's up, Bobby? Do you need to use the bathroom? I remember! What? My missing memories. They all came back to me just now. What, were those fireworks giving you, like, flashbacks to exploding or something? What? Tell us all about it. Yay, I'm so happy that your memories are back, Bobby! We saved Shogun Studios, we blew that blue streamer away, and we had a blast while doing it. Exactly, it was the blast from those fireworks that finally knocked the pieces back in place for me. I remember who I am, I remember where I came from, but... All of the new memories we made together are my favorite ones yet. Big M, Olivia, thank you for taking care of me. I'll never forget you, that's a promise. Good luck on your journey, I, I hope you both. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you saying, Bobby? You're coming with us! Get over here! <laughs> you really think we have to part ways just because you got your old memories back? We still have to take down the rest of the streamers, stop my brother, save Peach's castle... You know, all that good stuff. You're part of this team, so stop saying goodbye and get on the boat already! Oh, uh, uh, shucks. Don't make me cry, you two. <laughs> Bob, I'm supposed to get wet. <laughs> yeah, it uh, messes with all the machinery inside of us. We could explode any second. Uh. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm by your side to the very end. That's a promise. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. 
<sighs> this is such a touching scene. Y'all are tugging on my heartstrings like a cheap cheap on a line. Okay, you two, no time to rest. Let's go get that yellow streamer. Let's do it. Looks like we can pass through that river gate now. Hop aboard, folks. Next stop on this river tour is Sweet Paper Valley. Right, so yeah, now we're heading on the way to the yellow streamer for streamer number three. We've taken out two of the five so far, so we're making pretty good progress, I'd say. Uh, I don't know exactly the length, but I mean, that would imply we're about two-fifths of the way through the game, or at least a third of the way through the game, because um, if there are five areas with all the five streamers and then the Peach's Castle stuff, then there would be probably six areas, and I think there were six warp pipes in that one main, like, warp pipe zone that links to all the areas, so probably about a third of the way through the game. Not too bad. So while we've got a little time, tell me more about yourself, Bobby. What was life like before we met? Clearly not that interesting, since he said his new memories are better. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure where to start. You know that saying, life hits you hard? Well, I got hit super hard. Getting smacked around by life? Ooh, sounds intense, but I think I know that feeling. Oh, right. Your brother really made a mess of things. So I guess we're in the same boat. Literally. Gosh, so much things to be taken literally in this episode. My word. You got that right, but I'm going to keep doing my best. Let's get to the next streamer and stop my brother. Yeah, as we make our merry way on over here. <laughs> Going on the world's slowest boat. Here we are, Sweet Paper Valley. This is the last downriver stop. Thanks for riding with us today. Enjoy your stay. Thanks for all your help, dude. Wow, look at these rocks. You couldn't build a place like this if you tried. I've heard of a valley fold, but this is like an actual valley. Alright, let's hurry through Sweet Paper Valley and find that streamer. Let's do it. Hey, thanks for all your help, dude. You have really helped us so far. I mean, I, I assume he'll probably take us back or something like that. Um, I don't know. Maybe take us back to Shogun Studios if we want to go back there or something like that. Um, but yeah, he's actually he's actually been a real help. He helped us get uh, toward the blue streamer. He took us to the area where the yellow streamer is. Like, this dude is doing work. He is putting in work, and I am falling in this pit. <laughs> it was hidden underneath that box. Whoops. All right, actually, let's sit down at this uh, bench real quick here. We origami folk have a saying. For every mountain fold, there's a valley fold. It's probably about the ups and downs of life. Or it could be about actual folding, I guess. Hard to say. Origami's weird. Either way, that's pretty deep. And expire inspiring. Even a dud like me might climb up, a up one of life's mountains someday. Yeah, how about you actually join us in a boss fight for once, Bobby? Climb life's mountain. Do the dang thing. Alright, so I guess we're making our way through Sweet Paper Valley. I'm probably just going to keep going until we find another save point, and then we'll end today's episode, because I feel like it would be kind of awkward to end without hitting a save point, because it would make it very difficult to... <laughs> I don't know, I would have to play through some more stuff on my own. I mean, it wouldn't be a big deal, but yeah, we can keep going. It's okay. The streamer just keeps going through the valley and beyond. Is it at the top of this mountain, you think? Looks like we'll need to go through that tunnel to reach the other side. All right, excellent uh, observation, Bobby. Oh, hello. Who is that? Who is there? Show yourself. Oh, you! Ollie! What are you doing here, you jerk? Yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you stolen Peach's castle, wrapped in streamers, crumpled up countless toads. Why must you keep doing this? It's so mean. Ah, sister, you have such a flat outlook on life. All I am doing is creating a glorious kingdom for origami like us. How can you not grasp the brilliance and daring of my plan? A world for origami? But origami and flat paper can live together. You don't need to be so mean to these nice paper folks. It's just not right. You've got to stop right now. Very well. I thought perhaps you would listen to reason. I see I was mistaken. Ever since you teamed up with this Mario fellow, you've been nothing but a crinkle in my neck. It ends now. Uh, whoa! Hey, wait, no! Oh! Uh, well, hey. Paper covers rock. <laughs> She'll be fine. We know this to be true. Paper covers rock. 
Consider this path closed. Alas, there will be an empty origami throne beside mine. But no matter, the birth of my origami king is imminent, er, kingdom is imminent. You may as well sit back and wait for its arrival. Gosh, all you jerk. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to find some way to get her out of this, uh, get her out of this mess. Ugh, the stupid boulder won't budge. There has to be something we can do. You could blow up on it. Ma'am, ma'am, are you okay under there? Ah! Ah! <laughs> that sounds about right. She's okay, but it can't be good to flatten origami like that. Yeah, that is a fair point. I was going to say, paper covers rock, but she's origami, technically, so it's probably not as good for her as it would be for someone like Mario. Mario would probably not have too big of an issue with being crushed by a boulder, but uh, probably not as good for Olivia. If we don't do something soon, she might be permanently crumpled. Huh. What can we do? I don't know. Find a power source or something? Bobby? Where are you, where are you going? What, what, are you, what are you doing? Bobby? Hello? What's she doing, dude? You having a big brain moment over there? Yes. It's the only way. I know how to save Olivia, Big M. We have to. What? Set sail! We have to get to the port in Toad Town and set sail for the Great Sea. I thought he was going to say, we have to sacrifice me. I must blow up to save her. Or something like that. I was going to be like, hey, that's fine, dude. bob -ums blow up and still live plenty of times. The bob -um partners we've had in the other games would run up on enemies, explode, and then be just fine. So it really wouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, we have to go back to the port in Toad Town. I know it seems crazy to live Olivia here, but uh, it's not like she's going anywhere. She's kind of crushed under a giant boulder. Need you to trust me, Big M. All right, are we gonna get a bunch of dynamite or something? Blow this boulder sky high. Well, all right. I was definitely not expecting that to happen. <laughs> I was definitely not expecting Ollie to show up and squish his sister. That's that is one messed up family relationship they've got there. Hey, dude, we need you to take us back to port. Ahoy! Was there an earthquake? Thought I heard something big. Anyhow, if you're looking to get to Toad Town, the warp pipe in Shogun Studios is way faster than paddling. So what'll it be? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Shogun Studios away! <laughs> Let's get on over there. We need to get back to Toad Town and head down to the port. Come on, game. Come on, game. Get me here. Well, in the Shogun Studios, folks. Whew, paddling up really, really takes it out of you. You must be strong to be able to do that, my man. Single-handedly? Let's go, dude. All right, let's find this warp pipe. Uh, I'm gonna do this just so we don't, just so I don't for, forget. Um, at the beginning of the next episode, what, what, where we're going or whatever. So I can totally see myself doing that. Make way, royalty coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard that. We've heard that plenty of times. So where is the warp pipe again? Not entirely sure where it is. These guys are juggling over there. The dry bones. Uh, where was that warp pipe? Is it just in here? I mean, I know we can also take that, like, toad thing or whatever. That toad, uh... Or the, the fax travel. We could do that, too. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be in here. Or something. Or maybe it's the fax travel that's in here. I don't remember. Is there anything in the big show theater? I could just be completely stupid here. Uh, yeah, I guess there's not anything in here. Where's that warp pipe? And also, where's the fast travel thing? <laughs> I don't remember where they are. But I know we need to go to them. I know that to be true. Um, one of them, honestly. Either one will do. I remember... I remember getting in one. I just don't remember where it was. I do not remember where it was. Or where that warp pipe was. I think maybe it was like... Hmm... Maybe it was in this area? Like over here, maybe? I don't think so, but... Or maybe in that area with... Or where, in here, maybe? <laughs> I honestly don't remember where where the, uh, the thing was. I wouldn't be surprised if it was up here, though. Wherever... 
wherever I need to go for that. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, well, shoot. Where where was it? Where was the warp pipe? Where was it? Or honestly, like like I said, that that fax travel thing would be nice too. <laughs> that fax travel thing would be pretty sweet too. It seems that the enemies have cleared out of here, so that's nice. Uh, all right, the fax travel thing is over there. We can just use that then. All right, not a big deal. It means a little bit more walking for us, but uh, not nothing, not anything we can't handle, of course. All right, it's just over here. Is the fax travel thing? All right, I don't remember where the pipe is, but fax travel works for me. So let's head to the main area and then head back to Toad Town, and then we should be good to go. All right, yeah. Use the fancy machine to fax travel. Yes, let's do it. Uh, all right. Get me on in here. We don't really need to watch this. We can just uh, fax travel on over here. All right. Sweet. And then now we just need to head back to Toad Town, which, if I recall, wasn't too far away from here. I'm sure it was actually pretty close. Uh, there's a pipe there. I don't remember where that goes necessarily. But yeah, I think we could just walk our way down here. Uh, I believe it's not too far away from just from Toad Town. How do I how do I fall in these holes? They're they're very visible. I just I, I don't know. I start looking at the camera or something, and then the next thing I know, I walk straight into a pitfall. Because that's just how I do things, I guess. All right, but it appears that we have, I think, arrived in Toad Town. And the game is saving for us. Are we in Toad Town? All right, Big M, should we head straight for the port? Yes, we should. All right, yeah, we are in Toad Town. We are in Toad Town, and this bridge is, or the shortcut here is working, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, oh, there's another save block over here. All right, we just use that. And I think that should do it for today's episode. Um, in the next episode, we will head to uh, the port and set sail. Uh, to wherever Bobby has in mind to try to figure out a way to get Olivia out from under that boulder. So, uh, yeah, that'll be pretty cool. But I think we've done plenty for today. Uh, decently long episode. A bit longer than I like, but uh, not too bad, I suppose. As long as it's under an hour, I'm usually happy when it, when it comes to Paper Mario videos. But, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It would really help out the channel, and I would appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, that's going to do it for today once again. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.